Yo guys, hands here, and this is why the first pedal or guitar pedal that you should get is a looper. Alright, now let's plug in the looper. Now take note that the looper should be always on the end of the chain. So what I have here guys is a uh, distortion, flanger, and a looper. Now this, the looper is always on the last of, last of the chain, okay? Now, the guitar comes here, goes to the distortion, the flanger, and the looper. Alright guys, so just a quick story here. When I was first starting on playing the, the electric guitar, the first uh, pedal that I got is a flanger. And it sounds like a, uh, a jet plane. So, uh, this is how it sounds. <coughs> I crank it that's how it sounds now when it's not on when it's on now that was my first pedal but I just wish I got a looper instead of the flanger because the looper Oh, it's it offers a lot uh, a lot of experience when you're using a looper now how does a looper works basically it's just a recorder when you play something I'll do a demo <laughs> all right so first when you press it for example before you loop something make sure you practice first Now it immediately played that. Okay. Now you can also add or overdub that by pressing the uh, button again. Now I'm going to add a a beat. beat now maybe a scratch now as you can uh, hear guys the sound is not boring anymore I have drums I have bass and I have this like like a shaker right now if I add in my effects and put in some chords I got that, all right? Just be playing by myself. All right, now, if you want to add like a, a melody to it, it's a bit too loud. Let's try it again. Now, if you want to uh, stop this, just double tap it and it will just stop. 
And if you want to resume it, just single press it like that. And it goes back. Now what if you want to delete it? All you have to do is double tap it and hold. And then it will blink. And there you go. You can start over again. Why get a looper first instead of an effect? Okay, so this is why I think the looper is the first pedal that you should get before any effects pedals, right? Now with the looper, you can uh, experience more. For example, you don't get bored with the looper. With an effects, same sound every, every time you play, same thing every time you play, you get bored on that. With a looper, you can be more creative, like add more to your music. For example, if you are a solo performer, you can add drums, like stopping on your guitar, or even having different parts on, uh, on, your, on your music. Like for example, the, a bass line and chords, and all of that is being recorded and being played back all over and over again from the looper. Now, this is my looper. It's just a single channel. It's so simple. It has button on it. You press once, it records. Press it again, it plays back immediately. Double tap it and hold it, erase the whole thing. Or just double tap it and let it go. It stops the recording. You have a volume knob, and that's it. That's all the controls that you have. And of course, an LED. Light. Now let's take a closer look on this looper. Alright guys, so now a closer look to the looper. Now just ignore this red thing. This is a uh, foot switch cover that I just placed because uh, the, the switch here is very tiny and when I use my bare foot, it's just like slipping on my, on my toes. So that's why I got this, uh, I don't know what this is called, but I, I just placed it there. So just ignore this part. Now. It has through bypass, so meaning when you plug in your guitar and it goes to the amp, it's not interrupting the signal, which is great. Now over here, you have a useless USB because it doesn't work. And uh, you have your 9 volt input, and this doesn't have any batteries on it because damn thing, it's so small. Look at this thing. It's like three of that size. Now. Uh, a closer look to this is it has, it's made out of metal, so very strong, and uh, you know, only have one switch there, but the thing is, this volume knob here, it's just too small, I just wish it's like this big, right? That could be uh, a much better, but for the price that I paid for this, I understand they need to cut costs. Now, that's it for this tiny looper as you can see it's just that now comparing it to the flanger or the old style uh, effects uh, there are some loopers that are this big but like boss but those are expensive loopers with this one it's a budget one and if you're just getting started at playing guitar and you want to have fun with a looper get this one it's very nice it does the same thing now this is my flanger the reason why this is so big because of the chip here or the electronics there and uh, this has a battery compartment over here now with this looper it doesn't have any batteries and you cannot put any batteries on this because it's so small all right guys so if you're still confused on which pedal you should get first for your first pedal I still consider getting a looper instead of an effects. Now, just a comparison, guys. Now, this is a distortion pedal. As you can see here, I just placed a uh, cover, a foot switch cover, so it's much larger. If I press it, it's on. I don't miss pressing it instead of this tiny button here. You know, sometimes my foot just, it's just hard to press when you're barefooting it. But when you're wearing shoes, it's, it's okay. Now, you can get one of these if you're getting tired of that. I just don't know the name of, uh, of this thing. I can put a link in the description box so you know what it is. All right, guys. So while you're still here, uh, consider subscribing. And uh, if you're interested in getting your first guitar pedal, get a looper. 
I'll be linking in uh, some some links in the description box so you know where to get this one and it's kind of cheap. So again guys, my name is Hanson Des and for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one and thanks for watching. Peace out.